But I decided to become an artist. I was doing computers. I thought the world's getting computerized. I do a computer. Took my pottery class, my sculpting class. I was hooked on the clay. Because I grew up working with my hands, I was really good. I mean, the first time I was given the clay, everybody got their piece of clay, and all the girls, because it's really hard to center. I'm like, I'll center that thing, push it in, understood every principle of it, opened the clay, and made a vase. A nice little vase that I made. So I start sculpting and doing pottery. So my dorm room was full of pottery. So during the work, I do the show here, show dance night people like, what else you do, man? I said, I'm an artist. My dorm room is full of artwork. I said, let's go. So I go take people, walk over to the dorm, make $500 a night. I started off selling at PCC with just vases. Realized you sell a vase, it's gone, you're never gonna make a copy of it. My wife said, honey, paint. So I start painting. Now the saying in, in art was is that it's all in the eye of the beholder. You know, some guy came and cried over that painting. The grandma, some old man came and cried over that painting. Right? Whatever his experience was, he cried over that painting. The older you get, the more, the better you are in art. The more focus of what you really want to sculpt about or you know, if you look at your drawings in the past and the things that you want to sculpt about, you change. Your subject matter change. There are more uh, important subject and more important issues that are going on in the world today that you can sculpt about. My whole purpose at the center was to perpetuate culture. So now it's coming to like, I'm going to sculpt things that are now disappearing. To me, we're going to go back to square one, man. Let's head back to the very natural nature the very beginning. There's so much going on today, so much going on that you know people need uh, uh, time to just take a break from everything else. You know, people are dying left and right, you know, everywhere. You know, people are just falling off the earth and haven't really accomplished what they really want to do. So my thing is that I like to really like leave a legacy behind of, of art, of idea, of health, of perpetuating a culture. In fact, the whole world is longing for a culture. And that culture means a place to belong, you know. People are longing for something really good. Something that, um, you know, uh, brings peace and try to make everything make sense. The world is, right now, needs healing, and uh, healing in any, every way, you know. People are just so busy with life. They, they don't even have time to stop and do something for themselves. Yes, I wish I have uh, another me or two other me so we can sculpt and do pottery and glass and carve and paint. But uh, I only have two hands. I only have two little hands. And I'm happy with those hands that do all the work. <laughs>